If you have chosen to have an ACL reconstruction, there are several graft options that can be used to reconstruct the ACL. Each graft has some advantages and some disadvantages. There is no perfect graft choice, and you should discuss the different graft options with your surgeon. Different graft options include patellar bone tendon bone, quadriceps tendon, hamstrings tendon, and the allograft. The patella bone tendon bone graft. This graft is taken from the kneecap on the front of the knee, including part of the kneecap and part of the shin bone with the graft in between. It comes from the lower part of the kneecap and part of the shin bone. This graft has been around a long time, over 30 years, and the overall outcomes with this graft are very good for knee stability and function. Because the graft has bone tissue on both ends, it has excellent healing characteristics. Many surgeons are very comfortable with this graft option due to decades of experience with this surgical technique. But this graft has a few concerns. About 30 to 40% of patients will have persistent but perhaps mild knee pain over the front of the knee, and kneeling can be a bit uncomfortable. Several studies have shown that there is a higher risk of kneecap arthritis about 10 to 15 years after surgery, and there may not be good options to address this pain in young, active, athletic patients. There is also a risk of kneecap fracture with this graft. Hamstring graft. This graft also has a 30 plus year history of good results. The graft has several advantages in that it is not associated with a significant rate of kneeling pain compared to the bone tendon bone graft. It does not have a risk of kneecap fracture compared with the bone tendon bone graft, and it does not appear to have a higher risk of kneecap arthritis 10 to 15 years after surgery. However, the hamstring graft may weaken the hamstrings a bit, and rehab to strengthen the hamstrings is very important. And in patients with smaller hamstrings, the smaller graft size may have a slightly higher risk of graft rupture compared to bone tendon bone grafts. Surgeons are developing new techniques to increase the size of hamstring grafts to lower the risk of graft rupture. The quadriceps tendon graft. This graft has become more popular over the last 10 years and early research suggests that this is a very good treatment option. Like the bone tendon bone graft, this comes from the kneecap or the patella, but it comes from the upper part of the kneecap. This appears to be a very strong, secure graft, but we do not have as much long-term research data on this graft choice. It may be associated with less knee pain on the front of the knee, and the lower risk of kneecap arthritis may not be a concern either. There may also be a risk of kneecap fracture with this graft, but overall this risk is thought to be pretty low. We still need more research on this graft and its outcomes in patients. Allograft. This tissue comes from a cadaver or a person who has died. There are some advantages of this graft in that it doesn't use any of the patient's own tissue to reconstruct the ACL, which allows you to avoid some of the problems with taking tissue from the patient's own kneecap or hamstrings tendons. But several studies have shown this graft has a much higher rate of ACL failure and graft rupture. For this reason, many surgeons now avoid using this graft in younger or more active patients. Patients also ask about ACL suture repair, which reconnects the torn ends of the ligament. More research is needed to know if this option can be successful in young athletes. We are continuing research in these areas, and none of the grafts is the ideal choice. Patients should look for a surgeon who will help them select the best graft choice for their needs.